Newsmakers to pop culture. If it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282 or toll free at 888-545-9282. Your state, your home, your voice. Jersey Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. 837, we're back on Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. Good morning to you. It's Bert. We have our need to know things coming up uh, in just a little bit. And I have a very special guest uh, standing by on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. Just wanted to give you a quick update first uh, on New Jersey native and uh, filmmaker Kevin Smith, who tweeted out uh, earlier this morning. He survived a massive heart attack over the weekend. Apparently, he was filming a brand new stand up special. He was in Los Angeles at a theater canceled the second of two shows to take himself to the hospital and in his tweet he said if I didn't cancel show two to go to the hospital I would have died tonight but for now I'm still above ground and he tweeted a picture of himself in the hospital 100% blockage uh, of an artery and uh, he says he's lucky to be alive the uh, doctor who treated him said the left anterior artery completely blocked and, of course, as you know, he does host a reality series uh, from his comic book store at Red Bank. So uh, get well soon, uh, Kevin Smith. Hopefully you're getting some good medical care over there in Los Angeles. But, uh, man, come back to Jersey soon and get here in one piece, will you? 732-545-9282 is our number. And 888-545-9282. I want to get to my special guest who's standing by in the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. He's a passionate prepper and a preparedness enthusiast. He's taught hundreds of church groups and neighborhood communities, and he's shared ways to become prepared and ready before and during an emergency situation. He's got a remarkable invention that, boy, I wish I had one of these during Superstorm Sandy. When he's not prepping, he says he's busy raising two teenage daughters and helping them succeed through the day-to-day challenges of going to high school and college. Uh, So let me welcome my special guest here to talk about his uh, amazing invention called the Hydrolyte. Uh, let's say hello to Gary Sandberg uh, this morning. Hey, Gary, it's Burt Barron. Welcome to WCTC. How are you? Yo, hey, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, as I mentioned a couple years ago, uh, New Jersey and uh, this part of the country got absolutely walloped uh, with uh, Superstorm Sandy, and uh, we're still kind of digging out from it. It's been five or six years, and I can just recall so many of us, uh, Gary, going a week, two weeks, no power, no lights, no water, no nothing. And if I had a hydrolite, Boy, how nice would it have been to be able just to have some uh, some artificial light. But uh, uh, before we talk about the, specifically about the hydrolite, uh, you being a, a prepper and a preparedness enthusiast, what led you to want to uh, uh, become a, a preparedness enthusiast? What does that take? You know what? I, I, I started in my home when I was a young boy. My parents were preparedness enthusiasts, and, and they shared it with us. And so now when I'm older now and I've got my teenage daughters, uh, I've taught it in my home to at least have the basics of survival, you know, with some water and some food and some clothing and shelters. And uh, that's what we've taught uh, in the groups. Is, and people always ask, well, how much do I need? And, and that's the, the key is every family is different. Uh, it depends on if you want water, then every home has to have at least one gallon per day per person, one for drinking and one for bathing. So if you've got five in the home, you would need uh, five times two would be 10 gallons of water times 30 days would be 300 gallons. Yeah. And Just for that basic survival. Exactly. And it's kind of unfortunate, Gary, that people see what you do and, uh, you know, being a preparedness and a, a prepper, people say, oh, he's one of these uh, guys that's just waiting for the end of the world. But I think if you ask every person in New Jersey, wouldn't it be nice to have had uh, light uh, following the hurricane? And wouldn't it be nice to have something the next time the hurricane hits? So, uh, just basically natural disaster preparedness is, is what you do right. as well, right? That, that's exactly right, and I think that's why the uh, hydrolyte was invented uh, and, and it was perfected. It's, it's been taken years, and it's finally perfected and uh, started to sell, and it's taking off like crazy. And uh, the neat thing about it is it, it's activated uh, by water, uh, you can dip it in the, the water that uh, is out by your streams of your homes, the lakes, the uh, oceans, uh, and it becomes activated when water activates it, and then the oxygen hits it, and then there's an alloyed metal rod, a magnesium rod in the center that starts to hold the charge to a cathode and anode, uh, and it goes up, and then the light turns on. And then when the light 
water in the cell dries up, the hot light shuts off. But then it, when it shuts off, you redip it again, and it gets up to 300 hours of use. That is remarkable. So it's a flashlight. Yeah. It's called the hydrolite that actually there's no batteries. It runs on no water. Right. Wow. There's a fuel cell that comes with it when, when, you, when you get it. So, uh, And then we also offer uh, those who, who want to at least have one or two in their homes. That's something that you could put on the shelf, and there's a 25-year shelf life or even greater because it only becomes activated when you dip it with water. You'll never have to worry about batteries again or solar lights, and those are all good. But this is something that's it's, it's, it's an emergency light and never be without light again, and you always have that peace of mind that you can just dip it at 10 to 12 seconds, get the cell wet, Shake it off, put it in the flashlight, turn it on, and it also is a lantern as well. You flip it upside down. You can hang it in your tent, wherever you're at. Uh, you know, we recommend people put them in the cars, uh, in your cabins or homes, just to have them. And if you don't want to ever use them, just leave them there, and it's the peace of mind that you always will have a flashlight when there's there's the power out. What a remarkable idea. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I think about the, the hurricane and the storm that we endured here. And then, of course, just this past weekend, uh, Gary, poor people in the middle part of the country where tornadoes oh. had kind of ripped through. And, yes. and trust me, when that happens, you're not running to the corner store to buy some batteries and a gallon of milk and a loaf of bread. You're, you're kind of on your own, and preparedness is such an important thing. This hydrolite and this, uh, this idea that you have here, Gary, this will save lives. This is revolutionary. Uh, this is well, this is an incredible long overdue idea. Well, we hope that uh, people will catch the 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 the, uh, the wave of this and just have um, it's 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 not available in stores as of yet. It mm-hmm. will be come fall uh, in the mass retail. But uh, we encourage you to go online to hydrolite.com, use the promo code water, and get a discount. Then when you buy more than one, you'll get even more discounts and free shipping as well. So. Buy them for your friends. We've got lots of people calling in that are that are buying them for their grandchildren and children to have sure. just for that safety feature and, and the preparedness item. I can see why. Now, it's it doesn't have and not, there's nothing toxic or dangerous in it, but it, it's not a toy. You don't want kids around it, but there's nothing in there that could hurt you, right? No, no. It's just a natural uh, uh, magnesium uh, alloy in there, and then it's and it's just wrapped and it's just non toxic waste. It's I mean, we've even got to the point where if you crack the cell open after it's used its life, uh, and it just has like a little pad, almost like chalk, mm. and it's just uh, it's just activated by that rod, and and and, and I've even tasted it, and there's no toxic uh, waste well, in it, and it's all environmentally friendly as well. Pretty remarkable. If any, mm-hmm. all of New Jersey and anybody that lives where you could see a natural disaster, a hurricane, a tornado, an earthquake, you absolutely have to have one of these because. Looking back, and uh, Gary, it was, it was such a helpless feeling six years ago to be mm-hmm. just constantly in the dark, no heat, no power, no nothing. And boy, if I could have just had a light like this, what a difference it would have made just to kind of get through this constant two weeks of, of darkness. Uh, and just to have that and know that I had uh, something so simple as a flashlight, it could have helped my neighbors. I could have used it for what I needed around the house. And uh, hindsight's always twenty twenty, but I, I, I absolutely have to have one of these, and I'd like to see everybody in Jersey get one of these for, heaven forbid, the next time it happens. I, and I hope they do, too, with the 300-year, uh, 300, 300 hours of, 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 of use. It's, it's amazing. You don't have to ever worry about that, and the peace of mind comes. We encourage everybody to, to get involved and give them away as gifts as well. I, I'm telling you, FEMA and the Red Cross, everybody has got to contact you because this should be something that's – a, a, a part of every kit, every survival kit, everything every should kit have one of these. Have it. It's yeah. just a matter of time, I think, before, you know, the big state, local, and national agencies say, you know what, this is a mandatory piece of equipment. Uh, how much water? A little bit of water goes in there to get, get it get it started? Yeah, you, you know, you can actually just get a little cup of water, and as long as you immerse the cell and the entire cell is dipped in there, just let it sit there for 10 to 12 seconds, or you can swoosh it around. Mm-hmm. Uh, or if you're out hiking, and you buy a stream, just dip it in the water and let it run on it for 10 to 12 seconds. And wow. Good. Or if you've got a boat and you're on the coast, just reach over in the water in the boat and, and shake shake it in the water for 10 to 12 seconds. And 
you know, every boat needs to have it on the coast as yeah. well. You don't have to worry about those batteries going out either on yeah. your, your houseboats. That's true, too. Well, that that's mm-hmm. awesome. So where can we go to not only purchase one of these? Uh, is there a – does the website show you, like, exactly how it works and maybe see a demo uh-huh. of it? Yeah, it is. You've got videos playing and everything, and it's hydralight.com, H-Y-D-R-A-L-I-G-H-T.com, and then use the promo code – It'll ask you at the shopping cart to get a discount. Use the promo code WATER, okay, and you'll get the discount off of it. But people that are going to the websites are buying multiples, three or, or more, and they're buying. It sounds like from what we're seeing, they're buying them for friends and families as well. And as they should, have just to have. No question about it. They should. Gary yeah. Sandberg, thank you for your time this morning. Oh, uh, you're sure this welcome. is revolutionary. This will save lives. There's no question about it. And. Uh, when things like this come along that have such a, a great difference in people's lives, I, I want to get the word out to as many people as possible because uh, this is a difference maker for a lot of people. I, I could see ambulances, first responders, everybody having this in the event of some sort of disaster. And uh, it's a remarkable idea, Gary. It really is. And I thank you for sharing it with me this morning. Well, All right. Thank you for having me on. And, and uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you stay safe. And uh, we will hear in, right. in Jersey as well. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, there he goes. Uh, Gary Sanders, uh, the inventor, or Sandberg, rather. Gary Sandberg, if you want to look up his name, again, the inventor of the Hydra Light, a a flashlight that runs on water. It's just incredible. Wow. Jersey Central traffic and weather.